This is Star Talk. Okay, Gavin Boucher asks, for, he's from Melbourne, Australia. He asks, do you lament the lack of funding, not just for NASA, but for science education in general? From a distance, the other side of the world, it appears that America's school science programs are not receiving the backing that they should and are under attack from other influences such as religious and political agendas. If I were king of the forest, <laughs> yes, we would have more funding for science. But if I may, let's not call it channel, but speak on behalf of my beloved colleague Neil deGrasse Tyson, who would normally be hosting Star Talk Radio, if we had a robust space program where investment was being made at a higher level than it is now, and we were going to someplace new and cool with people like Mass, flying mm -hmm. out into space, someplace new and exciting, you wouldn't need to run in circles screaming about science, technology, engineering, and math, which we like to call STEM. It would just happen. It would be it would be the real trickle down of an, of science. That is a real thing. Though it the... would it would well not just science but exploration. Right, adventure. And I, exactly because yeah. there's two things that happen. Mass, you've been up there. You've done it. You when you go exploring, two things you get. You're going to make discoveries. You're going to find things you never found before. The other thing you're going to have, Eugene. Yeah. And yeah. Adventure. Adventure. Oh, You're yeah, yeah. Have of course you'll adventure. have adventure. Did you guys, when you were in space, did you discover anything? Were you, were you like, oh, this is a thing nobody knows about shoes? <laughs> Bad example. <laughs> well, we, you know actually, I mean? it depends how you look at it. We yeah. were more or less the, uh, the workers, the uh, maintenance people uh -huh. for the Hubble Space Telescope. So You're, yeah. we, we didn't look through the telescope. Space we mechanics. We fixed it, but our smart people here on Earth, all the astronomers, for example, Adam Reese and a group of other astronomers won a Nobel Prize. Uh, the oh. theory of dark energy and dark matter came out of Hubble. Oh wow! Observation out of so, what you fix. Out of we fix. So we yeah, were more yeah. like the repair people, <laughs> but you know the 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 these astounding discoveries that were made. But didn't you like Some fly up with like a snake in a box just, just to see what would? Oh, happen. like our own fun stuff. Like, did you go like, yeah, we're gonna fix the Hubble, and while <laughs> we do snake. this, here's some like snakes and shoes, and let's see how rabbits act. No, we had sweet fish, or, you know, yeah. candies and stuff. Exactly. Yeah, we did our own little experiments, but you know, I we played baseball in space. Publish them. Yeah, I didn't did you getting... walk in space and play baseball? No, not at, I did. Oh. I walked in space and I played baseball separately. Oh, okay, well now we you played baseball goal. inside the cabin. But we, yeah, we, we we did we did participate in some human subject uh, tests. But the big science objectives for us were to get Hubble fixed, to discover dark matter, to discover some See, really cool stuff. See, and people they throw nice. around yeah. the term dark matter, dark energy. Everybody throws it around like it's just uh, everybody it's knows about. It's it. an extraordinary yeah, now, but mass is the Nobel guy Nobel Prize that winning stuff. This is Star Talk.